have passed since we have spoken with each other, my good friends, my brothers and my sisters. Thank you for joining me tonight on the motherfucking vodcast. Thank you guys for coming out. I know it's been a while. I know I owe you guys a lot. Um, the thing is, I've been sick, and I've had sick kids and sick family for about the last two weeks. Um, between birthdays and that, I'm just going to be glad when I'm able to breathe without coughing again. So I'm still a little bit under the weather, but there was something I found today that I knew I must share with you tonight. And I couldn't wait another night, no. Oh, no siree, Bob. Um, I was out and about today. I had to Let me tell you a little bit about my day before we get into this, okay? I know you know what it is because the title already told you. Is it up there? Is it over there? I don't know. I had to get up early this morning because I had to go to court. Uh, apparently selling crack to children is against the law. What the fuck, America? America? <laughs> no. I got pulled over about a month ago when I was going to meet my friend Sean at Mysticon to, um, thank you, Sean, by the way, uh, <laughs> to uh, meet up for my birthday. And, you know, uh, Sean was a longtime watcher and a friend that I've met through Mysticon out in Roanoke, uh, who uh, George R.R. R. Martin, motherfuckers, is going to be the guest of honor next year. So you can bet your sweet ass I'm going to be there no matter what content it is in, uh, I'd really like to meet him. I'd probably punch him in the face. He's probably gonna have a lot of security though and a big table between us. That rat bastard. He is... Alright, I'm not gonna get into that. I was on my way to Roanoke. <laughs> Sometimes... Um, I was on my way to Roanoke and... I was on my way to Roanoke uh, because I had to go to court this morning because of traffic violation. I had... Well, I was driving Carol's car my wife Carol's car, because my inspection and registration were overdue. But only by like a few months, but it was just like, ah, it's not worth risking, you know, an hour and a half drive to get pulled over and get a ticket. So I took Carol's car. Well, well, brother. <laughs> um, apparently, she thought that the bill, which mind you, does look a lot like your registration, was her registration. She thought I had paid it online two years in a row. Well, she got away a, uh, over two years without having to buy a registration um, and apparently one day without an inspection. So I'm about halfway to Roanoke when I see the lights on this unmarked car. I'm like, God damn it. I was like, if I wanted to get pulled over today, I could have just driven my own fucking car. Well, I should have just driven my own car because her registration was two years overdue. So Thankfully, the cop was nice enough. He probably could have taken the car, but I was just like, I was just like, yeah, I didn't know. I took this car today, and I didn't even know that the <laughs> inspection was overdue until I pointed it out to the officer. That was nice of me, wasn't it? Anywho, it all worked out, you know, in the, in the long run, because I had to drive there today. The officer was there. He was a good guy. Now, I want to talk a little bit about officers on another video. I'm thinking about something. I'm going to bring back the road to 40. Yeah, you're thinking, whoa, 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 Mr. Oliveira. You're 41 now. You're well, at, well into your 40s by a few months. So you can't start the road to 40 over again. Yes, I can. You know why? Because this is my channel, and I can do whatever I want. I'm just going to be 40 every year. So next year, you're all welcome to come join me on the road to 40 party. Uh, now the road to 40 is not going to be a nightly vlog where I talk about all kinds of crazy shit, but it is going to be similar to that. Maybe once or twice a week I'll sit down with you guys and if something moves me, for example, I got into a great political conversation that I'm not going to talk about right now uh, on Facebook today. Uh, and so I wanted to talk about that on here. I wanted to talk about what's going on with police across this country. You know, a lot of things have happened. When I had to do the Road to 40 and it was a nightly vlog, um, it was much tougher than doing this. Like, I do feel bad, though, that, like, I've kind of neglected you guys. Like, I feel like I've, I've been gone, like, a week or so, and I feel like people are going to be like, oh, who was that? <laughs> when a new video pops up. So I just want to rem remind you guys, I'm here. So it will be the Road to 40 when I call it 41 or anything like that. Um, and I might just get the domain name so I can have something. Anywho, I went to court today early. It was about, you know, I left at 8. I thought it was only about a 35-minute drive. So I thought I gave myself plenty of time. Nope. <laughs> um, it took me about 
45 minutes to find the place. Um, it's, it's not find it, but find parking uh, because I kept passing up spots. Yes, this is me. This is how lazy I am. Like I'd find a spot within, I don't know, let's just measure it in quarter miles, a quarter of a mile to, to the courthouse. I was like, oh no, no, that's, that's way too far of a walk. I'd go right up to the road that the courthouse is on and drive down the road. Yeah, no, that's not close enough. And I'd have to go around the block. And then the, after the second time, I was just like, okay, stop being an idiot and just pick a spot and let's move on. I'm sorry if this camera looks a little wacky too. The, the distance at which it is from me and you, it's a little strange, but it's because of this. When I came home, I had to pick a few things at the grocery store. What did I find? Uh, lo and behold, I've been looking, seeking out these motherfuckers for a while. Um, I also want to say that there is another flavor out there. It's called Lemon Twist. They had lemon. You can still buy lemon ones, but apparently now we have Lemon Twist. I don't know what the difference is, but I want to try them. So if you see them out there, let me know so I can pick them up. Um, we're going to do... What is on the menu tonight? Bitches. Um, we are going to eat for you... I'm either going to save you $2.50 to $3, or I am going to cost you that much because either these are going to be phenomenal, which I'm hoping they are, um, or they're going to be terrible, <laughs> and I will have just saved you some money. So we got milk in this cup, we got the white ration over here. I haven't done what's on the menu uh, uh, tonight in a long time, but I was going to do one last week. I picked up Jimmy Fallon's new, or Ben and Jerry's new Jimmy Fallon late night show, uh, Ben and Jerry's flavor, uh, ice cream. Wow. Late night dough. It's very good. I should have done it because, it, I, oh, even just by myself eating it, like I stopped in the moment that I was in and I was just like, oh my God, I found heaven. It's right in this little container right here. It's good. I gotta say, the only thing I don't enjoy in it is the cookie dough. I like the peanut butter cookie dough, but not the chocolate chip cookie dough. Get it out of there. <laughs> Call it J Night Snack. I don't know. Um, so here we go. The way we do these, I got these from Greg Miller, who is over at kindoffunny.com. Yeah, over here looks a little bit better. Um, Kind of funny, uh, they used to work in the video game industry uh, on all levels of the um, uh, reviews, producing the reviews, and, and, and so on and so forth, editing. And so uh, he had his own show called The Oreo Oration, which he still does have. And I like it a lot, and I like Oreos a lot, so we share a common interest. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to give my own spin on the Oreos. And I started doing it probably over a year ago. And every time I see a new flavor, of course, I have to pick it up. So tonight is cotton candy Oreo. Now, the funny thing is I like cotton candy, the flavor of cotton candy. When I eat cotton candy things, I'm, I enjoy it. Uh, I'm thinking about it in an Oreo, especially a golden Oreo, uh, which I don't think I would have put in anything else because it would be weird to have cotton candy on a regular Oreo. Or would it? Anywho, I'm afraid they're going to be a little too sweet. Just like you, my viewers. Sweet to the core. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's kind of creepy. So, without further ado, the first smell. Now, they've always had a weird, interesting packaging that, now that I know how it works, it's much easier to open, but when I first started opening them, I'm like, how the fuck do you do this? I can't rip it open. I got it. So these are good until uh, August 18th of this year. Here we go. Damn it. You know, when I was smelling, I wanted to come back to you guys and be like, listen, I feel like I just walked into a carnival and I can hear the little, uh, the little monkey, uh, grinder organs and I can, I can smell the popcorn and, and smell the cotton candy. It's the right smell, but it's weak. Very, very weak. It's like non-existent. Uh, oh, now this is interesting though. Okay. He likes to do a first look. I don't really do a first look, but I'll show you guys. Uh, perfect condition and I was afraid I thought I shut these in my door in my car I was like they're not gonna look very pretty I'm gonna have to cut that part of it out so apparently I didn't though so I'll put these over here all right here we go so now the, the cool thing here is I'm gonna untwist it which I don't always do you've got two different creams 
I want equal amount of cream, but that looks difficult, but I think I can do this. I'm gonna try to break it here. And I think I've got an equal and opposite amount of cream. Hmm. Mmm, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, I'm obviously not gonna make a final judgment on them yet. However, something just struck me. I've been very sick, respiratory, chest, head cold for the last week or so. I've had a hard time smelling. The good thing is, I think they got the smell right. I think I just can't smell it as good as I should be able to because I have been sick and I haven't been able to smell anything lately. I have a feeling paired with milk, these are gonna be perfect. Why? Because it softens them up. When I think of cotton candy, I don't think of hard and crunchy. I think of soft and fluffy. Don't you? Who doesn't? All right, so we'll give them the old milk test. I like them nice and soppy. Not too, too soppy, but soppy enough that there's no crunch to them. Maybe a little crunch. Mm, perfect. Now I'm at that carnival. I'm at Rocky Point Park in Rhode Island. What city was Rocky Point Park in? I used to go there a lot when I was a kid. I never really liked roller coasters, but it was a fun place to waste money. And a day. Always a memorable day at Rocky Point Park. Sad. Actually, they're bringing it back, but it's not the same rides, which is sad. Though the Corkscrew, which was their signature roller coaster, very small, um, did end up somewhere in this country. I can't remember, but they repainted it, renamed it, and it's out there. So if you ever want to ride the corkscrew, just look up the history on Wiki or something, you'll find it. Yeah, I got nothing wrong to say about them. If you like cotton, cotton candy, if you like cotton candy, you like Oreos, <laughs> be racist and go to Australia. <laughs> Actually, I heard it is rather racist in Australia. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's an awful thing to say about an entire uh, continent. <laughs> All right. So I got to score these, don't I? Pair really well with milk. Right now I'm sick, but I'm basing it on what I can taste and smell. I'd give them a straight eight, maybe an 8.2. It's dead on, the flavor. It's just like I said, I can't tell if it's because I'm sick or if because they're a little weak on the flavor. I would like to have been hit with that carnival scent when I opened it up, like, here I am. I'm at the Elks Club down the road from my house. I shouldn't ride this Ferris wheel because it's probably gonna fall apart, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna anyway. You ever think about that, carnivals? That's a dangerous business, man. I don't know. I don't know why we don't have more carnival incidents in this, this world. I guess it's because we've learned how to maintain our rides properly. Maybe carnies aren't so bad after all. Anywho, this has been What's on the Menu tonight. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking us out. You guys have a super duper night. Uh, if you love watching these as much as I love making them, please subscribe and pass them along to anybody who you might know who would like watching them as well. Like, comment, and share. Give me something to talk about. Put something in the comments below. I want to thank Bling for giving me a suggestion uh, that I do want to do a Road to 40 video about, which I'll tell you guys about another time. Uh, I think I mentioned it on, on the last video, but if I didn't, it's coming up. Um, follow me on the social media. It's always at G-E-Y-C-E-N. Um, don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and the rain and the, in the snow and the sleet and the hail, my brothers and sisters, just like the mailmen do. <sighs> live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come. But don't ever live in fear. Always live every moment in love. 
Don't let your inner child die. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves because they're the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliver. This is the, uh, the vodcast. Uh, and vodcast mania is running wild. My vodcastians or something. I have a drinking problem. All right, I'll see you guys on the next episode of the vodcast. What have I done?